everyone. Welcome back to RTS and I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Now up for today is just a little check in, a little update because I got asked some questions about last week's video about month and review albums and so I thought I would show a couple more. I looked through my albums and thought oh okay I probably could show that, covered up a couple things and then also to answer some questions and more importantly the $8,000 story. <laughs> yes. Now if you haven't watched last week's video about month and review albums, I would suggest you watch that because this is talking about this concept. And uh, yes, definitely uh, something I've been doing for a long time. And also to at the end of the day, if I only had to pick one thing one project, one album to scrapbook from here on out in my journey, it would be month and review albums. Now it doesn't really feed the creative side of scrapbooking for me, but it does the job. It does the documenting. I still get to play with photos, still get to enjoy my photos, and I still get to look back and see where my life is very blessed. And I think a lot of us would say that. So one of the questions I got is, do I take a photo every single day for my month and review? No, I take a photo when I want to take a photo. There's no pressure. I got to remember, you know, remind myself, take a photo. This is day one. This is day 28. No, that's not what this is about. Because uh, Heidi Swap introduced this concept to me back in 2005, and that was before Project Life. And so it's basically just the highlights. And so if your highlight for the month is going to the zoo, and of your uh, 20 pictures that you printed, if six of those were from the zoo, then you could definitely put six of your highlights of that zoo in that uh, in your monthly review. And that's why I said in last week's video that if this is all I did for that year, I'm good because at least I have that trip or that zoo or that visit to grandma. I, at least I have it documented somewhere. I might not have a two page layout, but who's to say that everything we do in life needs a two page layout? It simply doesn't. And also too, as you get older, as your children grow, things become redundant as far as the places you go, the things you do. Uh, and so you don't need to keep doing a two page layout on every time you go to the zoo, every time you go to the beach. You, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so the other other question I got is that a lot of people uh, convey that there's no way they would have enough videos because their life isn't that exciting. And I say, wrong. You're absolutely wrong. <laughs> because if you scrapbook just events and holidays, which that's awesome, that's why we usually, that's why we start scrapbooking is because of an event or a big holiday, is that because then you're missing out on your everyday life. You're missing out on those little snippets uh, that you do every day. And they seem trivial and small at the time. But when you look back on them and you see them as a month and a whole, you know, a month in review. Yes, there's a lot we do we forget about. Yes. And it's also to, you know, looking back from the same month a year ago and seeing the changes and all the ages and stages and phases that we go through in this life. It's remarkable to see the difference. Yes. Okay. So then the other thing is, do I do collages when I do my month in review? No, sometimes I just print out wallets and then sometimes I'll make you know, makeshift collage, or then also too, I will use a four by six collage. And I'll show you this in just a minute. And so all four of those photos basically were dropped into a four by six uh, format. And I just use my Epson I'm sorry, I use my Epson Picture Mate, but then I use my software that came with my Fuji camera. I did not go buy anything. It's just what already came with my camera. So basically, it's just a drop and drag type of system. So I don't get into collages because I will show you this page here. If I had to create an eight and a half by 11, or what is that? Probably a 12, 10, that's probably 11 by 12 collage. If I had to absolutely sit down and do this collage, you know, drop all this in and then print it. And, I don't have the energy for that. No. So when I make collages, it's piecing things together side by side. Okay. So then I will talk about these two uh, spreads here and then I'll talk about the $8,000 story. Yes. Okay. So, and this year, this was 2016, I believe you can see that I use a Teresa Collins um, collection. I use Teresa Collins papers throughout. And then what I did was this sketch is different because each year I do a different sketch. And sometimes even within that year, each four months, you know, the quarter of the year, I switch it up. It depends on my mood when I'm doing my prep work. So you'll see that I have three photos here, basically in a four by six. They're cattywampus. I got a border. And then over here, this is definitely photo heavy. And that's what I said in last week's video. My month in review pages are basically 
this is my journaling down here and then it's rest of the photos I have a little bit of embellishments but the emphasis is a month in review and so that's photos and journaling okay it's not about design it's not about product it's not about technique it's documenting your month okay or whatever you want to document in review so then everything I have done for this layout the prep work is done so all these strips would have been cut ahead of time these background pieces would have been ahead of time done ahead of time each one of my titles for the entire year is completely done either on wax paper or pre-cut and then you see I got uh, out my Maggie Holmes uh, floral die set for this one of my favorite dies die sets and so all of this here this a lot of these are layered that is all cut ahead of time at one time it's already assembled it's ready to go even my enamel dots are put together so when I do this month I print my photos I paste it down do my journaling and it's done that's how I can keep up with this okay and so of course for this year and I don't know if you can see it all but this is basically my sketch I have three photos over here and then all of this is just photos butted up with other photos and they're cut down okay and so this takes a little bit of thinking ahead of time when you're uh you know as far as printing your photos but when you assemble it it's the same thing every month so it goes faster and faster each, each month and i think i got 27 uh, photos each month in this year this is 2016 yes very very fun <laughs> yes okay so now this is the one that i'm working on currently and I think this is 2017, 2018. Uh, I'd have to look at my notes. And so what you see is that this year I'm using Simple Stories product. And so then I have a four of a six here. All of my journaling will go here in this block. And then I have a couple wallets here. And then on the right, I am using colored cardstock. Imagine that, no pattern paper, but you can see that I have the simple stories cut apart. I have that as my main embellishment for the middle of this page. And then what I did was then I just took wallets and just sprinkled around this cut apart. And then of course my embellishments are very minimal. So all of this is cut ahead of time. These are all cut ahead of time. This is all laid out ahead of time. Everything I'm using is done ahead of time. And so they're in basically a little individual packet, individual envelope. I just pull it out, ready to go. Yes. And then um, this, this year I mixed it up and this has a lot of pattern. And then so here I got and broke out the cardstock. Now in this year, I alternated colors. So in uh, March, this is red, but then the next April was probably pink. And then the next one is yellow and the next one's turquoise. And then I repeated that three times. So I do a cycling of colors through my through the year. Okay, so let's talk about the $8,000 story and you can look at my beautiful little, <laughs> my little one right there. Okay, and uh, so what I wanted to say was you can see that uh, for a lot of my photos, it's just snippets, 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 yes, uh, of little babies, of this uh, holiday, of uh, scrapbooking items I was doing. I had to get a new washer, food we were cooking, uh, selfies, going on trips, birthdays, just selfies. It's everyday life, yes. And even when you have the big events, it's sprinkled in there too in the month review. Now, the other question I got is, of this month, will there be two pages that, are, that I will also do? It depends. But I will tell you that feeling of having to do that two-page layout of this trip or um, of that holiday, then I don't have that pressure to do it. But if I want to do it, the option is always there. But that caught-up feeling totally gone yes totally down the drain it's gone I love that that is why I have such an appeal and attraction to monthly review albums it's why I love them so okay the $8,000 story uh to make a long 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 story very very short uh so with I said this in last week's video I think doing monthly review albums have made me more aware of my life more aware of my surroundings and I take more uh documentation of things that are happening right now so uh we had a um a small chimney fire one year and so we really didn't know it was a chimney fire till our contractor came we had some issues he said oh yeah by the way you had a small chimney fire so uh, he had to get other contractors and they had to do the work had to tear some things apart so behind our walls is what would you think newspaper and there was some other kind of flammable paper I can't remember plastic I think it was plastic and newspaper 
Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think it was plastic and newspaper. But anyways, it was stuff that should not be behind your walls. That should not be the insulation. That should not be the stuffing behind your walls. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. But you know, years ago, there wasn't building codes as there is now. And so, of course, my contractor was astounded. The workers that came in were astounded. So you know what, me, I'm snapping photos because I'm documenting my life. Now, as I'm snapping those photos, there's no way in my brain I'm thinking I want to do a two-page layout about new paper and plastic but when my adjuster came and he really couldn't believe it and he had to get a you know affidavit from my, from my contractor that that was the actual truth that's what was behind my walls things had to get up to code and so when my insurance adjuster came I said well you know I have proof of that and he said you do I said yeah I have photos and so those photos that I had taken because I wanted a snippet of my everyday life <laughs> of that small chimney fire uh, and thank God it didn't turn into anything major because who would have thunk that behind my walls was newspaper and plastic I mean really yeah so uh and I will tell you that opened a whole can of worms for people in my development that was built by that same contractor and during that same year but that's another whole story so my month in review concept thank you to Heidi Swap and back in 2005 that concept of um, documenting that everyday life those snippets those little things that happen I didn't have plans to do a two-page layout and still to this day I'm not going to do a two-page layout about this renovation that had to happen because it ten ended up being a huge ordeal of how much needed to be replaced in my home because of that discovery of that plastic and that newspaper so uh, when my adjuster saw that long story short he you know knew we were telling the truth but I had proof all because of my month in review <laughs> yes absolutely so I saved myself eight thousand dollars true story put my hand on the Bible absolutely you can ask my hubby it's the truth so yes month in review and scrapbooking saved me eight thousand dollars now have I spent more than eight thousand dollars in 23 years of scrapbooking we won't go there <laughs> no we won't okay so I wanted to come in pop in a little bit more show you another a couple pages about the month review you know without a glare talk a little bit more about that every year I switch it up every Every year I have fun and I will keep on doing it every year okay so that is the $8,000 story truth be told absolutely <laughs> yes amazing okay so then as I'm filming this I got a couple other questions in, in the meantime so I thought I would just throw them in this video too so uh, one of the other questions I got is photo sizes and uh, do I always uh, print the same size do I mix it up how do I do that and so I like to take my favorite photo of the month and print it in a four by six but then there's also times where I just print everything and wallet call it good there's some there is absolutely a couple years I've done where every photo was a four before yes so it depends on the sketch you pick it depends on what you like and also to uh, mainly the orientation of photos that you like you have to keep and keep that in your mind mostly the orientation are you going to deal with more vertical or more horizontal and then you can see in this one that I had a four by six and then basically all wallets and then on this one I had three smaller four by six and then the rest was that big collage okay uh, that I just butted those photos up but I will tell you something I I did learn through this 13 14 year process is that one year I picked a sketch where I had a four by six a four by four two by threes and one by threes and two by twos oh my goodness yes I will tell you uh, the more photo sizes you use on a sketch it gets harder each month because you have to it's not very it's not quick it's not efficient so I say make it simple okay uh, you can definitely just use all wallets you can I want to talk about that in just a minute but the photo sizes make it the most simply the simplest form you can because you're gonna repeat that 12 times okay and so I try not to go too intricate and too many various sizes for my sketch yes and sometimes if a sketch will call for two you know a two by three or a one by three or a two by two I already know for me that's gonna be a wallet so I adjust the sketch to fit my needs yes now uh, you will see uh, I had showed previously about that photo collage and something I wanted to say if you like month in review and you like photo collages there is someone here on YouTube you definitely need to check out it is my online friend Nicole at Chloe Bing I will have her channel listed below she rocks the collage <laughs> and she rocks month review pages um, because uh, we have done them together and I am so inspired whenever I see Nicole do her uh, month in review because then it makes me want to keep doing mine as well so I will definitely have Nicole's channel listed below she's also um, the creator uh, with uh, Grace as far as our monthly celebrations YouTube hop so you may already uh, be subscribed to Nicole but definitely check out her month in review layouts very inspiring she's very talented and she breaks out the stamps as well 
Okay, so then the other question I got is how do I store all of this prep work as I'm working on these pages? And I'll show that here in just a minute. I will pull this. So basically, I just use an iris bin or I will use, uh, this is by recollections, this is something I got on clearance one year. And so if I open this up, what you'll see is that I just have these stacked uh, in accordance to my month. So I'm working through the month as I'm working through this pile. So when I had all this prep work done, January was on top and then it was February and then it was March. And in between this is those envelopes of all that uh, die cut pieces. If I can sh see, everything is pre-cut, everything's ready to go. And then underneath this, I have um, my alphas and my enamel dots and things like that. So I just keep it in a case like this, but I keep it in order and it stays in this order. It stays in this case all year long. And then I just work from top to bottom yes and when you start to see this case and these supplies go down and down and down in the amount of size and then you see that album fill up fill up fill up as each month is happening whew, yes you talk about motivating that would be it <laughs> yes absolutely okay so now what was the next question the next question was a uh, memorabilia how do I do that and it is so simple what I do for my memorabilia for the entire year you want to see what I do plastic bag baby <laughs> yes i just label it with the year uh 2017 2018 2019 i have one for every year and it says memorabilia and you can see what do i have in there i have programs i have packaging from victoria's secret perfume uh places we stay um what is what is this something uh and then oh this was from the eclipse so any type of memorabilia i just simply keep it in a bag I keep it in my scrap room and every week when I gather, I do this as once a week. I do this during my office day. <laughs> yes. Uh, and so whenever I get memorabilia, I just throw it in the bag. When someone hands me memorabilia, I just come in here and throw it in the bag. That's what I do. Well, truth be told, I usually throw it on my desk and then I'll throw it in the bag. That's usually how it works, okay? Because I want to keep that. And then whatever that's in that bag does not make it in my album for the year. I usually chuck the rest of it because I'm not going to keep it. I will not use it on any other layouts. And so that concept right there of putting memorabilia in my month and review albums has helped me decrease the clutter and then I use my memorabilia. I don't always include memorabilia on my pages. That's how I conquered that, okay? Because I want those snippets, but yet... I don't think about, and I don't have an organization way to use that on a layout. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay, so then what was the other question? Uh, I'm looking here. Okay, I wanted to talk about Nicole, the photo sizes, how I store memorabilia, and then also too, yes, this was the big thing. Don't worry, <laughs> because so many people say this, and I think I talked about this last week. So many people say... Um, and they worry, well, my life's not exciting. My life's boring. I do the same thing every day. Well, I will tell you yours truly. Um, once we were home, done homeschooling, and sometimes I feel like I do the same thing every day. And so I want to tell you that do not think that your life is not exciting enough because there are so many things you can include in your monthly review. And I wrote a list here, if I could find it. Uh, yes. And also people say, well, I don't, my life's not busy enough. Uh, my children are grown, grown. Believe me, there's all kinds of things you do. And so I have a list here. I put, uh, you could uh, document and take a snap a photo of movies and books and food you're eating, music you're enjoying, your work life, selfies around the home, around your community, what you're buying at the store. And then also two funny things that happen, what news is happening, good or bad. And then also to all these text messages we get from each other. Sometimes they're funny. Sometimes Sometimes they have information that what happened during the month with other people in your lives, but yet you don't have a photo of that. Snap, uh, you know, do a snapshot of that text message, print it out in wallet. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. So I say when you uh, use the concept of month in review and you're uh, capturing all those little snapshots of your everyday life, it's open range, baby. There are so many things to scrapbook about and we don't have to designate a one page or a two page spread to do it that memory is there i'm very very passionate about these albums definitely okay so i wanted to pop back in add those a uh, few more questions i got if you have any other questions please just list below and then again that offer is still open if you would like to see how i'm going to start the prep work probably in october or november uh about my um uh, my next month in review album just let me know we could do it and work on it together but then back to that same thought I wanted to say if you don't think your life's busy enough here's what you need to do print your photos on a bigger size because remember I had showed you that spread that 
I had 27 photos. You don't need 27 photos. You could absolutely do it for 10. You could absolutely have eight photos of your highlights of the month. You could put two, uh, you know, two, four by six, two, four by six. And then on your right page, you just add another four photos. So you absolutely could just simply use eight photos to do your highlights, print them in four by six and call it good. Yes. It doesn't have to be wallets. It doesn't have to be two by twos. It doesn't have to be one by twos. It doesn't have to be a collage. It can simply by, uh, use four by six photos. Just don't do, you know just do the highlights okay you could use four photos six photos eight photos you know and that would be a very quick page very very quick so uh one year i did that one year i think i did um i think i did four photos on each page i think that's what i did four or five photos on each page so you know i like to include a lot because i snap my uh you know I snap a lot of photos but you simply could do this would be your left you have three photos you come over here and this would be your right and you have another three photos that's six photos that's highlights everybody has at least six photos of the month of, of what you do so i wanted to uh, make sure i put that in there because as i taught this class a couple times that was always the question that came up you do not have to print in wallets to do month in review you can print four of a six you just won't have as many photos but you still have highlights yes everybody does so that is all i have for today i wanted to show that um i love I love month and review albums. I'm, I feel very blessed that Heidi Swap talked about that back in 2005 before Project Life even existed. And so that was a way of documenting. And then again, I would do want to reiterate, this isn't a photo once a day. That is not what this is about. That is, this is not Project 365. This is not Project Life. This is simply snap, uh, you know, the highlights and then your month and review. That's what it is. And then of course, when you do that month and review, month after month and that album fills up that caught up feeling yeah that, that's left that's left the building elvis left the building yes you no longer have to worry about that caught up feeling absolutely and then also too uh one of my uh scrappy friends uh when i was talking about this class one day she said you know you could always go back and do that with previous years. You know, you feel like you're behind, you're behind, you're behind. And her name was Stephanie. And she absolutely brought up a good point. And I, I remember that. She said, you could go back, even though this isn't current, you could go back and just pick your highlights of 2005, 2008, 2009, 2010. And that's how you do an album quickly. Then that caught up feeling gone again. Yes, absolutely. So that's all I have for today. I hope this was enjoyable. I hope I answered a couple more questions. And of course, I had to get that $8,000 story in. Absolutely. So I come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to do. Bye.